Hello everyone, my name is Wenshaw. I am from secondary two in Binata Tagraha School. Today we have uh, a game I made. Now, it might look like uh, a bit simple. That's because it is. It is simple, right? So basically, this is the point system over here. You have the point system. And this will be the car you will drive with the holocaust. So basically, to stop the game, you press space. And then you steer the car around with this. This could be like a real car. Now, you might think that you need to dodge this car to get into something. But no. You need to crash into it. I don't know why. That's just how I decided it would be. Right? Now, that might be some lag over here, so it might mess up a bit. But other than that, it should probably work. Okay? Yep, there you go. Now for the Jeep, you get one point, and for the fast car, like, like that, you get two points. So basically, like, how many points you can get in one run. Like, for example, over here, I mean, it's a bit bulk. Hold on, let me, uh, fix it real quick. Okay, now the score is zero, as you can see. Now, when I start it again, yeah, see, two, three, four. Why is it the last time the score is not zero? Yeah, I think that was modified, but by someone. I don't know though. And the code was a bit messed up before. There was something missing. Okay. Yeah, like when you go when the car goes down, and then next one, you know, you get fifteen points like I did. Before, right? Like that's basically how it goes. Now let me show you the code. Okay. Okay. Now for the code, the hollow code here. It's actually pretty simple. Okay. When the space key is pressed, that's how you start the game, right? That's how you start the game. So when the space key is pressed, it will forever do this part of the code. So for example, if the hollow code is tilted to the right, to the right, then it would it would broadcast turn right. Yeah, there you go. If the hollow code is tilted to the left, then it would broadcast turn right left. Now the broadcast you remember the name. Turn right, turn left. It's important. Now for the police car over here, the police car as you can see here. There is the, the broadcast thing, right? Turn right, turn left. When it receives turn right, which you need to turn the hollow code to the right, it sets the rotation scale to left to right. It does the same for the turn left and turn right, right? And then what, we, what the police car would do, it would point in direction of 90 degrees, you know, here, and then move 10 steps. Basically, it would go here if it's turn right. If it's turned left, it would point in direction of minus 90 degrees, which would be to the left. It would also move 10 steps. So basically, yeah, just like before, it's like a real car. If you turn left on the hollow code, the police car will turn right, or it would, sorry, turn left. And if the hollow code turns right, it would also go to the right spot. That's basically how it works. Now, for these ones, it's a bit more complicated since it's like kind of like AI, but it's not AI really. It's not intelligent at all, it's just a programming. When the space is pressed, that means that the code will execute, this code part will execute when I press the space key. That's how you start the game. The show, the show thing here, that means it will show. Like for example, here, it's hidden, right? But when you press space, it shows. There you go, there's the car. Now, for this, go to X, pick random 220 to minus 220, and the Y, 160. Basically, it's saying, like, it, the, the code will pick a random spot on this part of the screen, and the car would spawn there. After that, it will repeat until the Y position is minus 160 degrees. The, the 160 degrees part on the Y position is here. 
So if the car would go down and go past 160 degrees on the Y position, it would disappear and it would not show up and it would, it would not show up again unless I press the unless I press the space key. So that's basically how it works. Also this is the point system. Yeah. If the car touches the police car, which is the car you, you drive, it would change the score by two. This is the red car. As you can see, this is the red car, which is the fast one. Yeah. This is the fast one, so it will be random. Yeah, there you go. It's a fast car, not for the G. It's slower, so I decided to change it into one point, since it's easier to get. And also, uh, so, uh, sorry. So, from your code, if the police car is not get hitting the the cars, so the cars will be no more. No more. So like basically, oh, it escape. Uh huh. Oh. Escape so you cannot get it anymore. So then basically, yeah, that's how it works. Okay, okay, I get it. Okay. Is that all?